everyone this is sherry from planning peep and welcome back to my channel today i have another memory spread for you guys and it's for the week of december 10th through december 16th i am slowly but surely catching up on all of my holiday spreads so i have a christmas kit for you guys today and i didn't show this in a haul because i just haven't had time to film a haul with all of these um kits that i'm going to use so i'm just going to introduce them at the beginning of each video which i normally do anyway the kit that i have this week is from a shop called Plan Fantastic, and this is a new shop for me. I actually discovered it because I was just um, searching like Christmas kits on Etsy and stumbled across this one that I really liked. So I decided to purchase, and I'm really happy with um, the quality of the kit and how it looks. So really quick, the first thing that came with my order was this little freebie, and it has like some little icons on there, like kawaii icons. And then um, the full box page here has eight full boxes. Unfortunately, it did get just a tiny bit bent uh, when it got sent to me, but it was definitely not the fault of the shop owner at all because she did put it in like a pretty sturdy envelope. And so it was really just USPS kind of doing their thing. And um, so yeah, here we have the eight full boxes. Over here we have the heart checklist, we have quarter boxes, half boxes, sidebar trackers, build do stickers, and then some icons on the bottom. Here we've got a ton of text stickers. We have a movie marquee as well as some little icons. We have two sidebar trackers, which is perfect. I'd like to use one for happy moments and then one for dinners. And then we have some glitter headers here on the side. This last page here has the bottom washi. It has the date covers, a canceled and rescheduled sticker, some tiny little hearts, um, teardrops, and then a weekend banner here at the bottom. And for this week, because the bottom washi is a little bit more plain with like a repetitive pattern, I decided to pull out one of my Simply Gilded washi samples. I purchased these from a shop called Oso oh Washi and she just gives you like a few, you can just pick which colors you want. Um, so I think for this week, this gray color with the gold foil is going to look really nice with this kit. I think it'll match nicely. So I'm going to pull that into the bottom washi and then work from there. I'm just speeding through this washi part super quickly because it did take me a while to put down both the Simply Gilded washi as well as the one that came with the kit. I did have to trim it and then I was cutting all crooked so I try to fix it with my Slice X-Acto knife. Um, some of you have asked me what that green tool is and yes, I got it off of Amazon. It's called Slice and I'll try to remember to link it down below. Um, then I moved to my sidebar and I just put down the full box at the top and that one says let it snow. And then the next thing I do is put down all of my date covers for this week. Um, um, the kit did not come with any date dots, so I found these gold foil ones for my collection. I think they're from Simply Watercolor Co. I placed down all of the date dots and then move to the sidebar. So first I put down a glitter header with a habit tracker to track my working out. And then underneath that, I put down one of the Monday through Sunday boxes with a happy moment sticker from Paper and Milk, which I'm not sure if she carries anymore. And then at the bottom, I found this dinner's little thing, which I think was from a leftover kit. And then I just used the second Monday through Sunday box um, at the bottom. That's it for my sidebar. It's pretty typical how I build it. And then I move on to Monday. So first I put down a today header and that was actually a leftover from a kit that I used last Christmas, which is from Sweet Fox Papery. The color scheme was quite similar. So I was able to pull in some stickers from that leftover kit. And then um, I used a quarter box with some balloon stickers from Me You Designs to mark that it was one of my best friend's birthday. And we had celebrated it the weekend before by going wine tasting in Mexico. So um, I didn't get to see her on her actual birthday, but I wanted to mark it in my planner. I then used, um, originally I used a teardrop to mark that I didn't have any meetings on Monday, which is always awesome. Um, but later I do switch it out for a gold foil icon from planning world. I decided to put the full box at the bottom just because I knew that's where I wanted it. And then, um, oh my gosh, I was having so much issues this week because I ran out of white out. Um, and so I tried to work around it by placing stickers where the lines are, but I just couldn't do it. That's just not how I plan. And so eventually I had to pause planning until I could go and grab some white out. So anyways, I put down this quarter box from Shop Jessica Hearts and the cardio sticker, um, I believe is from MJ and Hope. And then I also put down a shoe sticker, which I think is from Sticker Sis. I then used a glitter header on top of the full box at the bottom, and then on the half box, I put down a noodle sticker from a happy blue tree to mark that one of my friends came over, and I made us some udon for dinner, and she really liked it, so that was good. It's always fun to cook for your friends, um, which I don't do very often, so I was like kind of nervous that she wouldn't like it, but it all worked out fine. And then um, afterwards, we just relaxed for a little bit before she went home. So I put down that sleeping girl sticker from Plans with Vanessa. 
Moving to Tuesday, I was going to use the glitter header at the top, but I decided that I wanted to leave a sliver of space between uh, my planning and where the date covers are, so I ended up moving down the Today header on Monday. At the top of Tuesday, I just placed down a full box, and then um, the first thing I did Tuesday morning was I had to pick up a test kit from another school site, um, just something I had to do for work. So the gold foil arrow sticker is from uh, Stella Bow Sticker Co., which used to be a student planning, so I have a hard time remembering her new shop name. That day, I did go to Ding Tea to get some boba during my lunch. Um, they just opened one near my school, so I was super excited, and I think I was going like every single week to get boba. That boba sticker is from Paper and Milk. And then we had our staff meeting at one. Um, the sticker that I used the with the arrow was actually, I think it was an appointment label where I cut off the other side to make like a flag at one point. So I used the remainder to make this little label. I then put down a laptop emoji from the Coffee Monsters Co. to mark a couple meetings that I had that afternoon and then a half box at the very bottom. I do switch out the emoji for a larger one because I realized there was quite a lot of space left over. And then um, I moved or I took off the half box and instead I cut up a two heart checklist that I found in my collection. Um, I felt like the colors were close enough of a match and um, I just marked that I did Pilates and then filmed that night. So the workout girl sticker is from Paper Princess Plans. Moving to Wednesday, I first put down a today header at the top and then I used the remainder of the heart checklist that I had put at the bottom of Tuesday. So I just wanted to mark a few things that I had to get done at work that day in the morning. Um, I did have to go off campus to meet somebody and so I put down a little car icon and that's from a shop that's no longer open. Then I put down a glitter header with a full box and underneath that I pulled in a half box with a little pill sticker and that's from a happy blue tree. I did have to stop by the pharmacy after work and I tend to forget to mark that so I was excited I remembered this time and I got to pull in that really cute pill sticker. Then um, underneath I put down a Target run sticker from Love Shira because I did have to stop by Target. I think I was like starting my Christmas shopping at this point. And then um, at the bottom I put down a YouTube girl from Paper and Milk to mark that I worked on my voiceover and edited my plan with me. I then decided that I wanted a background um, behind my Target sticker, so I layered some washi strips that I found from an older kit that I had. For Thursday, I put down a quarter box with a full box at the bottom and a glitter header on top of the full box. Then moving to the top, I used a scallop label that came in the kit with a pencil from Nikki Plus 3 to mark a morning meeting that I had. I then put down this noodle sticker from Sweet Ava's Paper. I think it's so cute because that cat is like so excited about his noodles, which is always me when I have noodles because it's like my favorite food. Um, I did stop by and get some Thai takeout for lunch. And then I used a half box to mark that I met up with one of my old coworkers for coffee. The coffee sticker that I used is from Paper and Milk. We went to Pete's Coffee, so I hand lettered that on the half box. I then remember that I had something um, that I had done before that and I wanted to mark it. And so I lifted up the half box and put down a um, quarter box and the glasses sticker is from Laven Forest. There was just a tiny sliver of space left between the half box and the glitter header and I wanted to mark a couple places that I went after work. I think I went to Target and Marshalls to do more Christmas shopping. And so I scooted up the other stickers a little bit to make some space. At the bottom on the quarter box, I put down a gold foil heart from Clever Gal Crafts and then just wrote in that we did our date night on Thursday and that's always fun. On Friday, I started by using a full box at the top and then I pulled in this quarter box with a coffee sticker from Sunset Sticker Co. to mark that I got my morning coffee on Friday. And then Friday was a really exciting day. I found out that I was voted as the teacher of the year at one of my schools. Um, I'm not a teacher, I'm a school psychologist, but I guess they um, you know, just wanted to nominate me anyway and then I ended up uh, winning that vote. So that was really exciting. I put that on a gold foil movie marquee, which is from Stella Bow Sticker Co. And I also pulled in a gold foil heart uh, from that same shop. Um, I just lettered that in and then I think there's gonna be like some banquet later on in the school year to to celebrate. So yeah, that was really exciting news. Um, underneath that, I put down a half box at the very, very bottom because I did a girls night with some of my friends that came over. We had some drinks and just some girl talk time, which is always fun. Um, that drink sticker is from the sticker party. 
I then lifted up the two stickers because I wanted to add in a glitter header um, above that, and then I replaced everything else. Luckily, the gold foil did not crack when I lifted up that sticker, which is amazing, um, so I was able to just place it back down. Then I used the other scallop label from the kit with a two heart checklist to mark some places that I went to um, before my friends came over. I had to go to Trader Joe's to pick up some um, snacks and alcohol and then also clean the house a little bit before they got there. And that's it for Friday, so I move on to the weekend. I first placed down two glitter headers and then I used the weekend banner right across them. Um, the first thing I did on Saturday was put down a quarter box with a gold foil icon from Planning World because um, we got some new gardeners that came by and I needed to um, explain to them what we needed to get done. I then used a today header with a three heart checklist to mark some things that I had gotten done that day. I think I painted my nails, filmed my plan with me, and then originally I put um, make spicy noodles for lunch, but I realized that I did not have enough space on Saturday to mark things that I wanted, so I removed that last to do. The nail polish sticker that I used is from the kit. Then I placed down the full box underneath and then I pulled in this half box to mark that we got boba and then met up with our friends to play a board game that we have been playing uh, for quite some time. So this is our third session playing the game. It's like, I, I talked about it in my previous videos, but um, it does take like over 12 hours to complete the entire game. So this was our last um, session we managed to finish and unfortunately I did not win. But anyway, the boba sticker is from Very Cute Designs. The game sticker is from Sunset Sticker Co. And then at the end of the night, we went to my favorite ice cream place, which unfortunately closed down at the end of 2018. So that was my last time that I got to go. The um, ice cream sticker is from Paper and Milk. Then on Sunday, I first put down the half box, or I'm sorry, the full box at the bottom because I knew that's where I wanted it. And then I used a glitter header on top of it. Um, moving to Sunday morning, I pulled in the Sleeping Maru sticker from Paper and Milk. And that Sleep In sticker is also from Paper and Milk. I just pulled that in to mark that I got to sleep in on Sunday, which is always a treat. And on Sunday, I designed our Christmas cards and got them printed. I used another quarter box from Shop Jessica Hearts. And the gold foil bow sticker is from Clever Gal Craft. Originally, I used a quarter box with a laundry sticker that was from my leftover collection, um, but later on I do switch that out. I ran out of quarter boxes in the kit, and so um, I kind of had to improvise and I cut off like the top part of a habit tracker um, because it kind of looks like a box. And um, then I used a three heart checklist under that to mark some things that I got done on Sunday. This is where I lifted up the laundry sticker and um, I wanted more color in the background. So I took the leftover part of my bottom washi and just created a little background for my laundry sticker. On the three heart checklist, I just marked the things that I did that day and then pulled in a workout girl from Thule Plans. For the flag in the top corner, I again used the leftover of my bottom washi, so I guess it was good that I cut it up so I could use a, a few pieces around my spread. And now I'm just filling in my sidebar, tracking my workout, my happy moments, and my dinners. And then I'm just showing you these stickers that I have left in the kit. I definitely use quite a lot of stickers, but because there were only four half boxes that came in the kit, I did have to grab some from my leftover stash because I do tend to use at least one half box each day. So anyways, that is it for this Christmas spread. Um, I think this is the second of my four Christmas spreads. So I got two more for you guys before the holidays will be over on my channel. Um, hope you guys are enjoying this. And if you have any questions, feel free to leave them down below. I always try to respond to all my comments, um, even if they sometimes are really belated. So anyways, thank you so much for watching and I will talk to you guys later. Bye.